Hey guys, just wanted to give a special shout out to Miss Veda Krishnamurthy, Mona Mishram, and Rima Malhotra from the Indian Women's Cricket Team for um, supporting the vlog and um, just showing us some love. And also wanted to give a special shout out to my boy, Mr. Brigu Bugga, for actually taking the time to shove this down people's throats and force them to watch the vlog. So y'all are awesome uh, and we appreciate you guys. Hey guys, this is Sunil Kumar, um, aka the American Cricketer. We're here at um, Lashings uh, Beach Club in beautiful Treasure Beach, Jamaica. And uh, we have a special guest with us here today, Mr. David Phobe, better known as Phoebe. And um, he's going to tell us a little bit about um, his experience running the Lashings World 11 for over 30 years. No, that's <laughs> true. It was a few years ago now that I was running that. So, and I'm fully retired from it now and living in Jamaica. But it was a great experience dealing with some of the world's greatest players. Always, always um, interesting. All different cultures from all different countries. People from different backgrounds visiting countries like Pakistan and India and New Zealand and Australia and going around the world right, listening to people. You get a better understanding of the world when you work in that sort of sphere and some of the cricketers and, and and the only thing I can ever describe and I've already told you as you know <laughs> the difference between being an international cricketer and just a local cricketer right they're all the same guys they just got more talent some forget their bats some forget their balls some forget <laughs> their, their equipment some don't turn up on time it's no different than just if you're playing with your mates just these guys have international quality and stance Awesome. Thank you so much, David, and thank you for being such a gracious host. Pleasure. pleasure. Welcome <laughs> to Jamaica. I'm Brenton Parchment from right here in Treasure Beach. I am a Cricket Australia High Performance Level 3 coach, equivalent to an um, international Level 4. So at the moment, I'm the head coach at the Ricardo Powell Cricket Academy. Um, that's based in Atlanta. In the past, I've worked in Australia, England, Netherlands, Ireland, and I've done some stuff with the um, Jamaica Tallowers. There we go. I actually met Coach, I think, uh, a year and a half, two years ago, and at that point, I was injured when I met him. Uh, I had just gotten into um, a car accident. It wasn't my fault. Uh, got hit. Basically, the car was totaled. Uh, had to get surgery. And so me and him kind of worked out a plan. And we were like, OK, so um, this is what you got to do to come back. And just been grinding at it ever since. You know, he kind of took me under his wing. Uh, I think of him like a father figure. and. You know, I just think like that relationship just continues to blossom. It's nice to have um, that kind of a connection with your coach, you know. I feel like a lot of the people you work with, especially in cricket, it's like you do the work, you leave. But like, you know, he's always open to a call. He's always open to text. And um, even even with little things, like even if I need help with something on a day, he'll be like the first person to show up. So that's that pretty much sums up our relationship. We knew ball well in the morning. It was damp. Balls are a bit older now. So we're going to play like it's towards the end of a T20 innings, get some power hitting drills in, and yeah, have some fun with it. It's been fun working with Sonny. Pretty easygoing guy. Um, what I admire most about him is his um, determination and commitment. Um, the discipline he showed um, for uh, sportsman trying to progress your game to the next level so to speak i think um he got the off the field nailed down in that what it takes i think he understands what it takes in order for him to improve his game and i think he's um turned in the right direction so on that note it's been pretty easy whereas if, if you want to compare that with a lot of other guys they they want the success on the field but they still want the lifestyle of the field of um an entertainer or something like that so i think Sonny has been pretty disciplined in the way he go about his cricket. 
So that's that's the good news. Um, what we're working on at the minute is just to improve his all-around game, which are emphasis on um, it's basically how do you generate more power without overheating the ball, getting yourself into a good, strong, balanced position that will, will enable you to have access to the ball. So generating more bat speed. So how do we generate more power without trying to hit the ball harder? So it's just about about creating a clear path for the bat to access the ball. And in doing so, doing that from a stable base. So guys, this morning, focused on mainly pace, went from playing new ball, uh, worked on a lot of technical things, and then uh, finished off with some power hitting. This evening session is all gonna be about just playing spin again, starting off in the middle overs, and towards the end, we're gonna do some power hitting as well. Ooh, um, I don't think there's any um, secret, but um, I know you're gonna need a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work. And not just hard work, it's designed hard work with a lot of discipline. Um, for me, I think, I think that's, what, that's what it is. I don't think there's any secret or any particular ingredient, but I think those, um, those three, three things there are key. So again, a little bit of luck a lot of hard work and a lot of discipline. In the gap. Very drenched. That was amazing. Water, mate. Nice. The wicket's still wet. That's why it's being so difficult today. That's six of them. There we go. Oh, it felt good, man. You know, started off just working like it's a game, playing through the middle overs, and uh, yeah, towards the end, kind of told myself, okay, take it like you're finishing in innings right now, or if you just need to accelerate the scoring. So I worked a bit on that, and yeah, pretty happy with how the session went. So um, we tried to get a bunch of traditional Jamaican breakfast foods today. 
Uh, obviously, this is just an omelet, but um, it's got scotch bonnet hot sauce on it, and that's hot. That is hot. Uh, we've got some aki and saltfish, a traditional Jamaican breakfast, some peppered steak. We got some banana bread over here. We have a banana Danish and a coconut scone, I think. And then um, I don't think this one's Jamaican. I just like these. It's a salmon egg Benedict. <laughs> and obviously our coconut water. Got to keep it, you know, islandy. All right, so um, to start off, the trip was pretty good, man. It was a great experience. You know, it's always nice to get to experience different cultures, uh, especially come to places and, you know, just play the game that I love so much. Uh, I was pretty happy with how I did. Uh, had a man of the match performance as well. And then um, just being able to train for four to five hours a day with coach on actual turf is, you know, it's a great experience in itself. And I feel like just leading into some of these tournaments coming back, coming up back home, I feel like I'm well prepared and I'm looking forward to um, playing some more cricket. Uh, my goals for the future right now, short term is going back home, performing well in all these domestic tournaments. Uh, somewhere along the lines, uh, I know I've been getting uh, opportunities to play in different countries, but I do want to break through into some of these bigger leagues around the world. Uh, I know it's a process, it's not going to come easy, but that's, that's, the, that's the end goal. Here you go, Mr. Sunny. Thank you for making it happen. Thank you so much. You guys were great. Put that right there, and we are good. Let's go home. Peace out, Jamaica. You've been great. All right, we're finally back in Atlanta. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, see you on the next one. Peace.